Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my July favorites. It is literally so crazy to me that we are already in August. Like this summer has flown by. I'm about to move into an apartment with some of my friends. So prepare for a move-in vlog, apartment tour, all that fun stuff. I'm super excited for the videos that are about to come out in August. So to start out my favorites, I'm going to do my beauty section first. So my first favorite is the Pink Sugar Perfume. I've used this forever and then I just have so many body sprays from like Victoria's Secret, Bath & Body Works, all that good stuff that I just haven't worn this in a while. I started wearing it again like a couple weeks ago and I was like, I forgot how good this smelled. Like it's my favorite perfume ever. It's just like so feminine and girly smelling. I absolutely love it. I'm not sure where you buy it. I always get mine at TJ Maxx and they are so much cheaper at TJ Maxx. But yeah, I've just really started loving this perfume again. My next favorite is something that, um, something else that I started using again in July and that is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This was my holy grail favorite mascara for the longest time. And I just get so many mascaras like in Ipsy's and stuff like that, but I just have so many samples. I don't really stick to one mascara. And I used this a couple days ago and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love this mascara. It's really old and I really need to buy a new one, but I'm trying to use up my makeup before I buy more, so. My next favorite is this Maybelline Matte Lipstick. I have the shade 65 Seductress. And I think this is just such a beautiful, everyday, natural looking lipstick. I'm wearing it right now. I've really been wearing it just about every time I've put makeup on. But it is such a beautiful shade. I love this shade. And um, it stays on super nice, stays all day, doesn't smudge. It is such a nice lipstick and it is seriously so cheap. I don't remember how much it was, but it's Maybelline. So my next favorite, I just got a couple days ago. So I don't know if I can really include it in this video, but I'm going to anyways. And I'm so, so late to hop on this trend. It is the Morphe James Charles palette. I just got this in the mail literally a couple days ago. I've used it the past three days and I already just love it so much. It is such a beautiful palette. And even though it looks like very colorful and intimidating, you can do like more natural colored looks with it too, which is like what I have on today. Like obviously my makeup isn't super colorful. I've been trying to get a little more adventurous with my makeup and try new things, new looks. So I think this palette will be perfect to do that with and I've just really been loving it. My last beauty favorite is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. Mine is in the warm sugar scent. I didn't know dry shampoo came in scents like that, but it seriously smells so good. And I normally use the Batiste, I think is how you say it. I can't remember. I normally use that dry shampoo, but this one was cheaper at Walmart. So I was like, we're going to try it and see if I like it. Worst case scenario, I have to buy another dry shampoo. But I've seriously been loving it. I used it today. You like can't even tell I have dry shampoo in my hair. You can't tell it's second day hair. Like I seriously love this so much. It smells so good. And it is super cheap at Walmart. So go get you some Not Your Mother's dry shampoo. I'm going to move on to my fashion favorites. The first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is these super cute sunglasses from Tom's. I did not know Tom's made sunglasses. Like that's so cool. And they just look like this. I love the shape of them. I just think they're super stylish. I just think they're super trendy looking. A lot of my sunglasses that I have are like metal. So when I get in my car and it's super hot, they like burn my face to put on. But these are plastic. So I've been really loving these because they don't get really hot from being in my car. The next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about are these shoes I got at walmart and they are seriously so cute the first pair are these little fake birkenstocks looking shoes and i know this is technically like dalmatian print i think is what it's called but it's cheetah print in my heart so i've been really loving these they're just as comfy as birkenstocks and these were 11 dollars, i think i actually have a really funny story about these shoes so i had family in and we went out to eat and we just walked around walmart after because we were bored and um i was walking towards the back to look at shoes because i was looking for the next pair i'm about to show you guys i was trying to find them and um two of my cousins were already in the shoe section and they saw these shoes and they said 
oh, Madeline would really love these because they're cheetah print. And as soon as I said that, I walked around the corner and I was like, what'd you say about cheetah print? Because uh, I'm obsessed with cheetah print. If you know me, you know that. But I got these shoes and they're seriously so cute. I'm so glad that my cousins found them for me. <laughs> the next pair, these are the pair that I went to look for. And they had a cheetah print pair, but they also had zebra print on them. And I'm just not big into zebra print. So I got these ones that are just tan. They're so cute. They have memory foam in them. So they are seriously so comfy. And these were only $8. Look how cute they are. They were only eight bucks. Like that is crazy. I used to be the biggest like snobbiest brat when it came to like buying shoes and clothes at Walmart. I was like, I'm not wearing something from Walmart. Like no, but they have popped off on their fashion. Like their shoes these are so cute but i've been really loving wearing these lately because they are so comfy they were so cheap and they are so cute my next favorite i bet you guys never saw this coming is the whole cheetah print trend if you know me you know i am so obsessed with cheetah print i don't know what it is about it but anytime i see it i have to buy it so these are just a couple of my cheetah print tops i'm going to show you guys this first one is a workout tank i got it tj maxx it's so cute. The next top I'm going to show you guys is this bodysuit from TJ Maxx and it just has teeny tiny cheetah print on it. I've really been loving this. I've worn it a couple times this month. It's just so comfy, so cute, and it is such a soft material. I really love this top. My next one I've had forever and that is this crop top from American Eagle. It's just got this cheetah print on it and it, um, the sleeves in the bottom have like a ruffle on it. It's so cute and I really love the material on this one as well. The last couple favorites I'm gonna show you guys are kind of random, but I've really been loving them. So I'm still gonna talk about them. And the first is something else that's cheetah print and that is this loopy case. I seriously love loopy cases. I've had this forever and it still looks brand new. Like it doesn't chip, it doesn't get scratches on it. The loop doesn't pull out. It's like through the case. A lot of people ask me that, like how the loop stays on, but it's like through the case. And I just like swing my phone around. I carry it by the loop and like it's never broke off. It hasn't stretched out. hasn't stretched out, but you might throw it across the room. But I just think it's so cute. I love this print and it's such a nice quality phone case. So this next favorite I talked about in my last video and that is the For the Girl James study. I'd never really studied the book of James before this book. It like really calls you out on your crap and I love it, like I need it. And I just, I talked about this in my last video, so I'm going to link that down below. And if you want to learn more about this study and my other favorite devotionals, go ahead and check that video out. So my last favorite is these candles from DW Home. I get these at TJ Maxx. This one is birthday cake. The one burning in the background is also birthday cake. And this other one is not one I expected to like, but it is pineapple cake. You will never ever catch me going for a fruity candle. I'm much more into like foody scents, you know what I mean? But this one seriously smells so good. It doesn't smell very fruity to me and I think that's why I like it. Bath and Body Works candles will forever have a special place in my heart, but they are so expensive unless they're on sale. So that is why I really love this brand. And like this one was only $7 and then these little ones are $4. So I think that's a really good deal for candles. And they smell so good. They're not like candles that smell super good when you sniff them, but then when you burn them, they don't smell at all. I've had issues with like cheap candles being like that. These are not like that. They smell so good when you burn them and when you smell them in the store. So that was all my favorites for the month of July. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe. Be sure to turn on my notifications so that you'll be notified when I upload and I will see you all in my next video.